I always had an interest in like psych and I thought it would be a good, good match. It's very different from your typical, you know, clinic you know, or your regular units, but I don't know, I like the difference of it. What was your reaction when you found out you got nominated for this? <laughs> I thought they were pulling a prank on me, <laughs> to be honest. Because <laughs> um, they know I'm, I don't, don't like to be like the center of attention, I just like to be in the background. So I, you know, I thought it was a joke, but you know, people really do like how I work and you know, how I help out the patients and everyone else. And you know, it's, it's nice, you know, that you know your coworkers think you do a good job. I enjoy talking with the kids and the parents and helping them their stay a little easier. And I like working with new nurses. It's always fun to work with them and watch them change over the years. I had a child that was sick and I try to remember what helped me during that time and then I do that for the parents. And um, anything you can do to make their stay easier, they appreciate. They always joke that, what are they gonna do when I leave? And I keep saying, you'll get by, you always do. I have days off, you do fine. I really do find psychiatry to be fascinating and the population to um, be so deserving of the care that we provide. I think it, this award is going to be very motivating to me. Um, it means that my coworkers who are phenomenal really believe in the work that I do and I believe in the work that I do so I'm hopeful that it's going to fuel the passion that I already have. I really want to be a professional within um, my field so I think that looking back on this is going to just continue to um, reignite that fire. Patients are why we're here. So, <laughs> um, well, I spent a lot of time coordinating the procedures and talking to them and educating them, you know, prior to them coming in. Um, I do make sure and visit them, you know, in our prep area before they get here, just to kind of ease their mind, answer their questions. They always have a direct. Um, you know, phone number to me to you know call me back, answer any questions, and you know, and also do the best to like accommodate their family that comes with them as well. It's amazing. <laughs> like I was unexpected. I was very surprised. I um, it's just very humbling, and just to read all the wonderful things that they say is just um, very, very good to hear. Very, it just kind of reassuring and know that I'm doing a good job. So. A lot of our patients are just recovering from heart surgery and um, take multiple nurses to get them up and moving for walks and to get them out of bed and do other things. And so I always know that I have a group of people I can rely on to help me for whatever I'm needing. I was actually surprised. I didn't know that I was nominated. So I, I found out I, I had won it before I found out I was nominated for it. It's, I guess, that whole excellence part is not just the way that you take care of your patients, but also how you take care of your coworkers and also of yourself on the job. Because it can be very demanding and also very emotional. And it just, I think, was a good refresher of exactly um, why nursing is important and the impact that we have on, on patients, but also on each other. It's a complex position. I have patients who've been, um, have had major abdominal surgery and are going home with new drains and tubes and ostomies to take care of. And there's a lot of troubleshooting and problem solving. I work with the great team. I have a lot of resources, a lot of people that I can go to to help. But I just draw on what would I feel like if I were in their position and try to give them what I would want. I was very flattered because I work with such a good team to be acknowledged for contributing to that team, that, that feels good. I really appreciate my, my patients and what they provide in terms of, you know, even when they're feeling cruddy, they're cracking jokes and making me laugh and, and I always look forward to coming to work. Plus it's a challenging, you know, um, specialty as well, working in oncology and then with bone marrow transplant patients and heme patients. And, so I look forward to the, the challenge behind it as well. I work with such an amazing crew that I, you know, I'm so honored, I'm so thankful. 
um, but I'm still like in total disbelief because, you know, I just, I, like I said, everyone that I work with is so exceptional that it's just like, wow, I mean, you guys, you know, thought this of me. I mean, it's very, it's very humbling and, and I'm very appreciative. I'm still in total disbelief though. I have this unique perspective too in the float pool is that I get to take care of some of these children in the ICU and then I get to work a shift maybe in the next week and I get to see them out on the general care floor and just watching that um, progression from where they were a week ago to where they are um, when they're doing so much better and closer to getting home. So that's really awesome to see. My float pool team is kind of my work family even though we don't get to see each other very often because we're typically you know, spread out amongst different units. Um, but I've gotten to know all the different teams you know, in each area. So. They mean everything to me because I'm not, I don't have an exact home, so I just go where they need me. Um, so I really rely on them, you know, as experts in their clinical area, but um, I've become friends with a lot of them too, which is really neat. Working with trauma patients, um, we see people during some very difficult and challenging times in their lives, and to be able to um, truly care for them and to help them through their healing process is uh, really humbling and rewarding work. They had no idea I'd been nominated, so um, to think that people would do something like this for me was really, um, it was really humbling and it meant a lot. It was a, I felt like a really big honor, it was great. I've been very blessed to have some wonderful mentors over the years, and they've really taken the time to encourage and support me, and um, I'm grateful for those individuals, and uh, I'm very thankful too to be working for such an amazing organization. My team is uh, nurses and surgical techs, and shout out to them, love you guys, it's like second family. Um, and I love my docs and my residents as well. Um, we, we are literally in a room for eight to 12 hours or plus a day. So you get to know people really well, you get to pick up on people's emotions, and sometimes we know exactly what the other one's thinking just by a look. I've told my team and my department this is this is a reflection of the people that I work with. So it's not just Sarah receiving an award, it's my department um, saying like, you guys have helped mold me into the nurse that I am. So it's an award for, in my opinion, the whole department, the whole team. I work with amazing people, so for them to take the time to write up the nomination that they did about me is so special and um, I'm so grateful. I really like um, the group of people on F65 um, is probably one of the biggest things, both the patients and the staff that I work with. It's a constant learning environment, um, being working with the teaching services and an, at an academic medical center. Um, the population of patients is very intriguing to me because every day is a learning opportunity for everyone. And so I think being a leader in um, this population to help teach others to be excited about the population um, because it's not very glamorous to some. To me, it's all the glamour I need and more. Um, I really love the wisdom from the older adults and actually my favorite patients are the crabby older men because if I can get them to crack a smile, I just feel so fulfilled um, and I just know how much wisdom they have to share.